back with the walkthrough. I wanted to let you know that I'm very pleased with how these pearls turned out. These are what I've been talking about. Now, uh, I did go through and scrape the first one. I think I had my consistencies off and not much was really happening. I thought I'd put it back on normal speed, but I didn't, so it was all done in time lapse. But um, yeah, I hope you like this. A um, couple things to think about when you're doing a pearl pour is making sure, I think I mentioned in the previous video, that you have enough paint on the canvas, not too much. Um, I like to do a large puddle and then put my, uh, like the black I did in the middle and then move it around that way. I don't like to necessarily flood the whole canvas like I did in the first painting and then put my black in. What happened with that was is that um, there wasn't enough paint, it got stretched and overstretched and it just didn't turn out well. Um, so here we are. So I look at this edge right here. That's really cool. All these cells turned out really nice. I wish some of these came in a little bigger down here, but that's okay. I love this edge right here. The detail is really cool. Just look at those cells, they're nice and clean and crisp. Just enough shading around them is exactly what I'm going for. Okay, so now that I think I've got that down, what I'm planning on doing is, focus up, is I'm gonna do a larger canvas probably this weekend coming up. Uh, I'm not quite sure of the size yet. I do have some large ones. I have um, a 16 by 20, um, that might work. Uh, this is a 16 by 24, I believe. So it's a little bit bigger than the 16 by 20, but this one, the other one has gallery wrapped edges and that's what I'm gonna go for, so. Okay guys, hope you like it. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the notes below or you can um, email me at dwightpours at yahoo.com and I'll put the formulas down below and we'll see you soon.